Hey YouTube, Timmy6216 here. Uh, something a little different. Uh, we are going to do what you have to do and what you need to make bacon weave. Tonight I'm preparing dinner and I'm going to make a bacon wrapped pork roast that I'm going to do in my oven. So first things first, I have found the best way to go about this is use a good quality, Hormel makes good stuff, thick cut bacon to make this the easiest I possibly can. Uh, just in case you guys are wondering, I have in fact already washed my hands, all my surfaces are clean and sanitary. So, I like to start off with taking my bacon and getting roughly half of it out of the pack. Because you're going to use roughly half of it to lay out your weave. First thing you're going to do, start separating it, and you want to lay it edge to edge, just like so. Notice that the bacon is alternating meat and fat. I love using thick cut bacon, it just, it's so cooperative, it doesn't rip, it doesn't shred, it just, it works very well. And it usually makes for a much better end product. All right, so we got two, four, six, seven. Here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we are gonna go ahead and lay down one more strip. Now, you have to kind of guess when it comes to sizing because you don't want too much extra hanging off on either side. So that's actually pretty good. Now, you're then going to take and you're going to pick whatever alternating pattern you would like. So you're going to go half, skip, half, skip, half, skip, half, skip, leaving an alternating pattern like such. Now I have found I can start from whatever side I would like to start on either end, but starting from the middle seems to be very good for the turnout. Then next, you're going to grab your alternating side that you didn't pick up. Get yourself another beautiful, glorious piece of bacon. Oh, that's two pieces. Lay that down. And then again, you're going to flip those over. As you can see, it's starting to look like a weave. I'm probably going to edit out from here until I am further along. Bacon weave. Lovely. You've got a couple extra pieces. Now, if you choose to lay the meat across lengthwise and roll it up, I would advise taking these and putting them on either end. If you're going to roll it diagonally, which makes for a very aesthetically pleasing bacon weave, I'm going to advise that the bacon be laid across diagonally as such. Now, we have our bacon weave. It's beautiful. One pound of thick cut bacon. Okay, folks. So now you have your bacon weave. But what are you supposed to do with it? I personally am going to put in my pork roast, as I said. But I also have done assorted other things. I've done chicken. I've done beef. Um, I've done sausage. And some of the best was the chicken, I just have to point out. Uh, you can wrap whatever you want in it. It is a fantastic way to add a lot of flavor to your food. I just suggest that when you cook it, cook it on a grate or on a broiler pan so that it's up out of the greases as it cooks. And then it makes it a little less terrible for you. But all in all, it is a fantastic thing you can do. If you have any more questions, comments, or concerns, leave them in the comments box. As usual, I am Timmy6216. Uh, happy shooting, happy cooking, and stay safe. Have a nice day.